You know, life could be funny sometimes. A couple of weeks ago, both my mother and my wife were in the hospital. I mean, my mother was in the rehab, but she wasn't home nonetheless. My wife's mother stayed with us for a week while my wife was in the hospital. Then her sister and her nephew came over. Add to that my two sons, and we had a house full of people. On top of all of that, my wife came home being in pain and very uncomfortable. So you can imagine she had that sunny disposition. I decided maybe this is a good time for me to go stay at my mother's house. Nobody's there. And I could get a break. Because with my wife gone and my two sons needing to be taken care of, I'm doing the cooking, the cleaning, the taxi cab driving. I was tired myself. So I came and stayed at my mother's house. In the morning I woke up ready to take a hot shower. I mean, I like a hot shower. But when I got in, I realized something. There was no cold water at all. So what turned out to be a boiling hot shower was very uncomfortable. As I stood in the back of the shower, flipping water on myself to rinse the soap off. I asked my mother, how come you didn't tell me you didn't have any cold water in your shower? She said, oh yeah, I was meaning to let you know about that. So I went to a local home improvement store, hoping there was a solution other than changing the whole shower body, which would mean busting up the wall and retiling. Luckily for me, I found one, and I'm going to share it with you right now. Purchase a replacement cartridge for your brand of shower body. For this particular model, use a sharp object to remove the cap from the handle. Use a screwdriver to remove the screw from the handle, then remove the handle. Now remove the screws from the escutcheon so you can remove the escutcheon. After removing the escutcheon, remove the stop tube. Now that the valve is exposed, locate the cartridge clip. Using a pair of pliers, remove the cartridge clip by pulling upward. Set it aside as you will need to reuse it. Remove the washer and put it aside as well. Open your replacement cartridge package and you'll find three parts. The cartridge, the removal tool, and lubricant. Slide the removal tool over the stem and push it until it's firmly seated into the valve. Use a wrench or pliers and turn the removal tool until the cartridge begins to spin out of the valve. This may require a bit of force. Once the cartridge begins to spin, remove the removal tool. Using a pair of pliers, grab the stem and wiggle the cartridge out. Take the lubricant and apply it to the rubber seals on the new cartridge. Orient the cartridge so that the letters HC are located at the top. Push the cartridge until it's firmly seated in the valve. Reinstall the cartridge clip and make sure it is pushed all the way down. Replace the stop tube and slide the escutcheon in place. Screw the escutcheon in place. Place the washer on the stem, then install the handle. Screw the handle in place and snap the cap back on. <laughs> Note to self, turn the water off. I thought I had it off on the valves on the shower body, but I found out different. So it got a little messy, but that's okay, that's part of plumbing. But all in all, for 40 bucks plus tax and an hour of my time, versus $800 to have a plumber come in and then a tile guy fix it, I think it was worth a little water. Now I could deal with the other 100 things on my mother's to-do list.